Namaskaram. Welcome to Opi Gurus. I'm your host, JK. Uh, today, we're going to discuss about someone special who has contributed to India's independence struggle, not from India, but from outside. To discuss about this special person, we have someone with us, and I'm really happy to welcome Hema Gopal, Mr. Hema Gopal. Namaskar. Namaskaram. How are you? Namaskaram. Fine, fine. How about you? I'm doing good as well. So I guess I have not revealed the name of the person yet, uh, today being September 15th, and uh, I thought, you know, you would be the appropriate person to uh, maybe tell our audience, bigger audience, uh, who we're going to talk about. Yes. Namaskaram, once again, to P Guru audience. And uh, September 15th being very important, iconic day for Tamil Nadu. That day happens to be the birthday of our CN Annadurai. And in a way, it's very close to the Indian hearts. The name, the coinage, Jai Hind, which was done by, presumably uh, thought by all of us that uh, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose had coined it. But years back, decades back, the coinage was done by Shambhaka Raman Pillai of Trivandrum origin. So uh, September 15th being his birthday too. And it is indeed a pleasure to share the important iconic moments of uh, Jai Hind Shambhagraman Pillai in this August forum. I also thank from the bottom of my heart that such a great personalities which were totally unsung in the post-independence era are now brought to the light. And once again, I thank P. Guru for making such great contributions to India, Bharata Varsham. Thank you. In fact, uh... That, that takes me back to the question I uh, initially thought to ask you. As you said, I guess many people believe that uh, Jai Hind was coined by Netaji because he made it popular, right? So uh, not many people were uh, about the, do know about who coined it. So uh, I guess it's kind of been obscured for many people all these years. And um, so why is it? Why is it so? I guess Netaji made it popular, that is fine. But I guess how do we kind of started knowing about Shinbhagaram? A very apt question now we have put far forth. Since Chambakaraman Pillai didn't have his own wards, like he was married and he had very uh, lesser number of a married life with his wife, uh, Lakshmi Bai. So because of his uh, untimely death and that too, prior to Indian independence, many of the information, many of the struggles, whatever he had undergone, was not passed on to Indian community. To tell you, 1934, he dies. And 1936, Lakshmi Bai comes to India because she was unable to face the wrath of Nazis post death of Chandakraman Pillai. So she comes to India 1936, that too, on the request of her adopted mother, Madam Gama. She comes to India, 1936 to 1947. She never reveals her identity to anyone because every moment she was having a fear that Nazis would kill her. That was the threat under which she came from Germany. All these were very aptly recorded. And many of the uh, such uh, recordings were done by the senior journalist uh, Rangaswamy Ayanga's uh, team. And they had one-to-one -one interaction with Lakshmi Bai at her Mumbai flat. And this is the fact what she, I mean, what she has revealed to the team. She was unable to discuss anything about Chempagram and Pillai, fearing such Nazi wrath. And 1947, one great thing happens. From there, that Mumbai Pradesh Congress Committee people, they come to know about Lakshmi Bai. And when they follow her to her flat in Mumbai, they see one photograph beneath that one urn containing ash kept and it was being um, worshipped every day. Then they uh, see they say, see that they ask is Champakaraman, how come you are having his photo here and praying? Then she reveals her identity. It, this, this is how it comes. And that too, she does one major, uh, what do you call, uh, heroic deed at the Mumbai Kalba Devi Road. I mean, following the terrorists who were shooting the general public walking on the road, her car follows those anti-social elements car. And finally, she is instrumental in catching the thieves. 
and Mumbai Pradesh police also honor honors her in the due course. Later, that time Chief Minister comes personally and he honors uh, Lakshmi Bai. So this is how uh, she really uh, comes out to, I mean, discuss her uh, identity. Right. So I guess we kind of started talking about uh, Shankar Ramapurai, uh, who we consider as uh, uh, Indian freedom fighter, a hero of that time. And we kind of uh, just moved on with his wife, uh, Lakshmi Bai. In fact, can we just talk, discuss more about her? Because Many people, uh, there, there, there are, in fact, recordings, there are you know, articles about Chanpa Raman, but not much about Lakshmi Bai. Why is that so? Yes. If Lakshmi Bai is not there, and if Lakshmi Bai's recordings are not available, then this great personality, Chanpa Raman, he would have been totally forgotten. Such kind of a marvelous uh, contribution was there by his wife, Lakshmi Bai. See, to, to tell you, our audience, she's an orphan. She was an orphan found out by one Russian uh, tourist traveler in India, that uh, Russian uh, women, she travels all over the country. And when she visits Northeast in one Sisu Samrakshana Kendra, Manipur, she finds this small girl, very uh, um, naughty and very um, sparky little girl, he finds out and she wants to adopt that child and with the permission of the Sisu Samrakshana Kendra in charges, she brings that lady, that girl to <coughs> Russia. In Russia, what happens in the border when she uh, lies down, she was, uh, that uh, Russian lady was uh, shot down by the local police authorities, thinking that she was a spy, that lady was a spy. So this small girl, Lakshmi, she, uh, she was a, literally, she was an orphan. So this orphan girl was finally, she lands in Germany. In German, this Madame Gama, who is instrumental for Indian freedom struggle in those days, when everybody were thinking whether to do or not, such a 1900s, 1905s, and 1910, this lady finds out uh, this uh, small little girl, Lakshmi boy, and she adopts this girl. So, so at her home, she gives home tuition to this Lakshmi Bai. And Madam Dhamma, being the very inspirational personality from the rich, affluent Parsi community, and she gives almost all her metal, financial support, and uh, psychological support to all young freedom fighters, revolutionaries who stationed in different parts of Europe. All those uh, great qualities of that, uh, this Madam Gama has been totally accepted by the little girl Lakshmi Bai, including the thirst for freedom struggle. That is how she lands into the hands of Madam Gama. From there, uh, she has an interaction with Chantakaraman during one of his uh, regular uh, meetings in Berlin, in Germany. And they both get attracted to each other. Uh, Till 1931, at the, till his age of 40, he remains unmarried, waiting for a right kind of Indian as girl. And finally, when she meets this uh, 18 year plus girl, at the time of uh, their marriage, she was hardly 20. This is what is recorded by the author of this books, Dr. Sedu Seshan and Rangaswamy Engar. And he expresses his uh, willingness to marry the sparky young uh, female and Madame Gama gets them married at uh, Halter Hotel in Berlin. This is how the girl from Manipur comes into the hands of Chantakaraman. This is how right. it is. So uh, we were just talking about the bravery of uh, Lakshmi Bai. You know, she has come all the way from Germany to India uh, with the with the urn. Right, that's what we hear, correct? So she brought the own uh, containing ashes of Shanbhav Ramapurai to India from Germany, right? So what's the story behind it? I was telling you like that Mumbai Pradesh Congress people finds the urn containing ash of Shanbhav Ramapurai being worshipped by Lakshmi Ba in her flat at Mumbai. So slowly they speaks to them, they speak to them and find out her lineage and all that and. Uh, Finally, in 1947, after the independence, they want to honor Lakshmi Bai's wish. 
she had the her wish was nothing but her husband's wish see hardly two and a half years she lived with her husband but she carried the ash of her, her husband to honor his wish and she tells uh, those some uh, local leaders that my husband's only wish he wanted to visit uh, swatantra bharat his intention was to visit swatantra bharat in the tricolor flag hoisted ship naval ship that was his dream and only for this dream i am waiting so she refused to part with her husband's ash to anyone finally somehow she gets in touch with that time prime minister madam indira gandhi and she reveals that her madam indira gandhi's younger days visit to germany and how these people entertained her in her uh, in their uh, german uh, accommodation and all such niceties both of them share and finally indra madam indra acknowledges and does all the arrangement to take that dr champagraman's uh, ash from mumbai to trivanandapuram where in the karamana river where his mother's ash were immersed in the same place his wish was to see to that that his ash has to also get immersed that is how madam indira gandhi ably helps uh, lakshmi bai in this noble mission and all, with all fanfare and with all state honors this even takes place and finally at the october 2nd 1967 66 67 exactly uh, i will uh, check it up and uh, let you know in the comments 66 or 67 it uh, uh, the ash of chimpagraman pillai is getting immersed in karmana river and according to another wish of him uh, the remaining ash whatever little was there it was sprinkled nanjil nadu vayalgalil thuvapada vendum nu solrar the fields of nanjil nadu that's kanyakumari and nagarkovil are joining places in the green fields of nanjil nadu it is be it was being sprinkled this is how the great journey happens from germany to tiruvannadapuram right so in fact we were just talking about uh, nanjil nadu you know uh, kanyakumari nagarkovil and trivandrum so recently there was one more movie about uh, another scientist right uh, nambinarayanan and we hear that our madhavan is going to do uh, a biopic of shanbagraman as well what do you think about that yeah it's a very good move uh, such kind of unsung heroes to be brought to the mainstream and uh, film being the very important uh, medium this will have greater reach and i'm really happy to know about the news like you i also read the news and if it comes true there is no better 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 acknowledgement than this to such a kind of a great personality dr chandragaman pillai and more such biopics is needed that is the need of the hour so that we know the value of our um, much fought freedom struggle right so chandragaman pillai just like a free will chat do you want to reveal more about uh, his heroics we know that he drove a uh, emden all the way from germany the warship emden all the way from germany and he just he was just trying to save a uh, wheel sir worker from andaman but unfortunately he just ended up in chennai and in in, in case he kind of did some bombardment there so uh, do you want to reveal more about that yeah the chempakaraman was uh, really an eye so to the british community uh that uh, many uh, revolutionary things he was orchestrating sitting in germany so there was a uh, there were very, very many moves taken against chempagraman pillai and in most of the times he used to um, escape with the disguise of a different community person uh, in the photographs one of the photographs they have given like in some karim bai or abdul ghani in that attire he escapes and this kind of uh, things are very common in those days because uh, when i go through many freedom struggle uh, events and personalities who are connected to it even bavisu has done that bavisu ayer has done that many have even madam dama has done that she has done that once she had escaped from uh, paris to uh, germany like that so he, uh, 
such kind of a personality was uh, champakaraman and in one of the threat one of the threats given to champakaraman he was asked to spy by a one uh, dancers of those era mata hari if you google it you will find very many interesting uh, news about that great dancer so she was given the uh, what do you call uh, task of following champakaraman and killing him so she comes to the i mean the restaurant where the regular meetings or the regular evening party state plays in western style and bo and uh, in her uh, traditional attire of a uh, yeah, typical european dancer uh, she is performing in that opera and incidentally she goes very close to champakaraman and it, it in those days this lady was considered to be the great heroine of european cultural uh, heritage like anybody who is close to uh, mata hari was treated as a very high um, societal person so but uh, he somehow champakaraman smells the background behind her closeness to champakaraman and he slowly understands and escapes in a very cunning manner what he what he does he slowly enters into the kitchen where all this uh, typical uh, barrows servers of that restaurant comes and changes their attire no he goes there and he removes his attire and puts in the barrows the waiter waiters that attire he puts in and he slowly moves out of that restaurant and she doesn't stop with that wherever chandagraman goes she follows some or other and one such occasion finally chandagraman gets her red handed and with, with his pistol she threatens her finally she reveals who she is and she reveals the agenda behind it and seeks pardon from chandagraman she escapes and the sad part after all such incident after a few years this lady was killed in france she was rather executed in france by french government that she was doing the dual job of spying for both the countries and due to her disloyalty that is how the story ends so what i put forth here is chandakaraman he was not only a great scholar and not orator but a very good disciplinarian only such good disciplinarians make history you take anybody who had fought for our freedom struggle whether it is madanlal dingra or whether it is shamji krishna varma whether it is bhagat singh or whether it is vavesu or many i mean vanchi whoever it is whoever history you take and go through you see a good disciplinarian combined with good moral values can have performed such great uh, feat in the freedom struggle yeah in fact uh... we are re- really happy to be part of this uh, shinbagaram pillai heritage or rather you know being acknowledge his contribution to indian freedom struggle and we are really happy to have you present it for the audience thank you very much for joining us thank you very much jai hind and more such views on freedom struggles heroes and heroines to be brought to the light i wish p gurus can do more on more like this thank you jai hind Uh, thank you uh, if you like this video like share and subscribe with your friends and family thank you